99.6 was that under her under tongue? Arm with, oh. the, with this one. Can you do that one in her mouth? Um, I don't know that she's old enough to know to hold it under her. I know, but I think oh. she could. Okay, we're gonna try this in your. Let's Honey. try this in your mouth, but it has to go. Your hair looks gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but it has to go underneath your tongue. We don't. We don't purchase toys, we just use kitchen utensils. Put it underneath your tongue. Lift up your tongue high. Okay, now set your tongue down on it. Okay, now you have to hold it under your tongue. Hold still. I'll hold it. What are you, Bear? 98.6? That's perfect. How does he know? 99.5. So that's, Same. and that other one said 99.1, so that's pretty darn good. So just a super, super, super low grade. What do we do about a child with a fever in this day and age? Do, do we get her tested? No, I don't think so. I know, but wouldn't we want, wouldn't we want to know? So she's not around other people? It's probably something that we need to find out. Oh, can you imagine having to get her tested? Like, Ugh, no. Have the thing up her nose? I wonder if they even test two-year-olds. They do. Do I they know. really? I think so. What was Eloise? 97.8. Okay. But I didn't get a good one. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> Oranges. Here you go. Oranges for everyone. Let's get a good one. There you go. I don't know about that one actually. Still, still kind of dry. I'll pull a provisional out. I can't do anything today. My avocado is going to be ripe between 5.30 and 6 p.m. <laughs> yeah, no joke. These are all ripe. That's a grapefruit. That's for a cocktail. Okay, let's go play in the garage. So your dad came and visited the other day, and he made a really good point. I had the gas stored in that back utility room. Yeah. Which, the water heater's in there, which has a flame. Oh my god. And there's like no... Ventilation. Yeah, ventilation at all. Uh huh. So I just so happen to have. They don't match, but who cares? Because you won't be able to see it. I'll put this one back here. Ah. Yeah. I'm just making a shelf. Very nice. Put the gas right here. And we have scrap wood. Exactly. From our shap, shap lip project. Exactly. That's not lotion. That's hand sanitizer. I did. I see that. At least your hands are nice and hand sanitized. No, this isn't. This isn't to play with. Did you notice it was cooler in here? Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, I put the air. Watch out! Scared me. Okay, let's go play in the garage. Okay. 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 Ok
Put the air conditioner in the window. Nice. That was loud. That was loud. That was loud. Daddy's golf clubs fell over. So I think we definitely have some type of viral. I'm gonna go inside and talk. It's very loud out here. Viral illness going on. So Lindell woke up this morning congested and is now running. I could tell just when I got home, I kissed her and I could tell that she had a low grade fever and this is from like them running and jumping on me. Tested her, her temperature, checked, took, took her temperature and it was, I don't trust any of our thermometers but it said it was 99.1, um, which I feel like will go up before bedtime. And then Eloise has been congested, like slightly congested the last few days, and then has not slept well the last couple of nights. And so I think she might have something as well. And, but that's really the only symptom is not sleeping well and a little bit of like nasal congestion I can hear when she's nursing. I feel like I've had more just like allergy type symptoms the last few days where my nose has been a little stuffy and like worse in the morning, but gets better throughout the day. So I don't know if that's related. It's just, I don't know how to handle this now that, especially because Lindell has a fever now, I just don't know how to handle it. Like, do we get her tested for COVID or like, I don't know. It's interesting though, because our nanny's daughter was around somebody who was around somebody who tested positive. So in an abundance of caution, we decided to not have Carrie come this Friday. My mom's gonna watch the kids, but it just so happens that now we're dealing with this and it's like, maybe it's better that Carrie's not here because of us. So. This whole thing is just out of control. And there's definitely COVID in our area where we live. So it wouldn't be that out of reach for it to happen, but we just really haven't been around anybody. So I don't know. Are you looking to buy something? You want a trampoline or a tricycle? Uh, no, I'm out of beer. Oh shoot! Well, we you have got some. Buddy? An E. An E. It looks like Bear's door. It does look like Bear's door, but his is a B, not an E. Jimbo, do you know where you're going? Where are you going? To the doctor. That's right. You're gonna get in the van. I'm in the van. Mm, Bear, you're gonna stay here with me. We're gonna have fun, but don't tell Lindell, okay? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna send the back. Sit in the back of the van? Yeah. Hmm. I think mommy's just gonna take Lindell. I can take Bear if you want. Do you wanna go, Bear? Yeah. Where do you go? Alright, Bear wants to go. Eloise stay here and you stay here. Yeah, me and Eloise will stay. Okay. Be so brave. Yep, make sure you're so brave, okay, honey? Okay. Bear be so brave. Yeah, Bear's gonna be so brave too. Recruitment. I just don't ever, whoops, my phone. I never go to the doctor without you. No. Almost never. No. And then we brought Bear because they're twins and they wanted to be together. So Brad just has Eloise. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a vacation. Oh, easy. And then she's driving because I'm editing a video for my personal channel that will be live tomorrow. But not tomorrow for your time. Tomorrow for my time. It's live last week for your time. So it was actually our nanny that told me about this drive through COVID testing that they had. We did see a fire truck right here. Really? Uh huh. There's the tree you like. I know. It was on our ODs on Facebook group, the trees like that, because they make you feel like you're seeing double. I'll have to insert a picture here of the tree that's in our neighborhood. They're glowing. They do look like they're glowing. Mm -hmm. The fire truck's at the fire station, Bear. They remind me of the Aspens in Colorado when they turn. Oh, yeah. They're like, yeah, like six conversations going on right now. But what I was going to say. Those like, are like that all the time. Mm -hmm. They're real pretty. They are. We're going to the doctor. We're going to get Lindell tested for COVID because if she has COVID, we all have quarantine for 14 days. Um, 
I was gonna say, Carrie is the one that told me about this drive-through testing, and she said she's pretty sure that for little kids they can do a saliva test. Oh, good. I know. I was worried about yeah. the up the nose. I've been tested for the oh the baby twins. Babies don't come out. Mother was on the other side. Aww. Um, I've been tested for the flu, and I imagine that's really similar to what COVID testing what is, is like. But they should have a swab, like impossibly far, way up in your sinuses. Let us know in the comments below if you've been tested for the flu and COVID, and if they're like the same. 